pack like a minimalist. Packing like a minimalist. That is one area in my life where I have a huge amount of experience, knowledge, and wisdom to share with you. I had been packing like a minimalist before I had even heard of or knew what minimalism was all about. So there is a lot of value for you in watching this video. Now, just like any area in your life where you choose to embrace minimalism with open arms, there are some beautiful and very powerful blessings that will come flowing your way naturally. You'll have a greater sense of focus and direction. You'll feel lighter because you're way down with less clutter and less wastage. You'll be treating the environment with more respect and kindness. And if you're a Sugar Mama subscriber, I don't even need to remind you about all the money that you're going to save and free up that can be used for achieving your other goals in your life, such as more travel, more experiences, more adventures, and maybe more investing. All right, so let me share with you these five very helpful and very valuable tips as to how to pack lightly as a minimalist. Hack number one, when it comes to picking your luggage of choice, always go with the smaller option. My reason behind this is it forces you to prioritize. It forces you to really think about what you're packing so that you only pack what you love, value, use, and appreciate. Also, when you do this, you will find that your luggage is a lot lighter. You'll be able to move through the airport, from one end of the airport to the other with ease. You're also less likely to injure yourself or someone else. When it comes to popping this in the overset compartment, it's not gonna be as heavy. You're not gonna run the risk of hitting someone in the head or hitting yourself in the head. And of course, it's gonna save you money because you're less likely to hit with an overweight excess luggage fee or fine that our airline providers occasionally like to impart on us and most importantly there's environmental benefits because the lighter we pack the lighter the airplanes are and the less fuel that we use which we all need to get on board with and take responsibility for now i'm sure you're probably wondering how has canna managed to pack all her luggage in a carry-on suitcase well let me show you inside this suitcase because it's one of those really cool ones which makes packing like a minimalist really easily all right, so first of all, it's incredibly lightweight. It's made of aluminium, doesn't even have zippers. It's also incredibly durable. And this is where I impart my words of wisdom when it comes to any type of shopping. It is quality over quantity. You know that feeling when you get off the plane and you have that panic because you realize your battery has died or is just about to die. And you frantically look around for people that might have a charger or where there's a PowerPoint or you realize you don't even have an adapter. Well, check out this. Inside my own suitcase, I have my own charger. All I need to do is just simply plug in and off I go. I don't even need to pull over and charge. I can charge on the go. And of course, when I open up my zipperless suitcase, everything is neatly organized and doesn't come flying out. It is perfectly organized with its own quick and easy access zipper components, which doesn't mean I'm gonna have my underwear and socks falling across an airport for everyone to have a look and I die of embarrassment in a really busy queue. Oh, and also the leather parts of this suitcase, not only can they be monogrammed in your initials, they're also dyed with vegetable dye, so no nasty toxins here. All right, now that we've agreed to downsize our luggage into something much lighter and we're really embracing packing like a minimalist, it is time to now move on to our next hack, research. I'm even gonna be really annoying and throw one of those frustratingly true and correct quotes. Proper planning prevents poor performance. Stopping and investing some time doing some research really pays off. It's something that I do no matter what type of trip that I'm going on. So first of all, I will check the weather. It is important to know whether there's any big climate changes coming through. You want to know what the temperature is so you know the right type of clothes to pack. It also helps you prepare for any changes in the weather, whether it be packing an umbrella, packing a raincoat, packing a bikini and a wide brim hat and a sarong. Now within the research hack, I always recommend you make a list of all the things that you want to achieve on the trip. The deadlines, the meetings, the people that you want to catch up with, even your personal things like going to the gym, maybe seeing some friends that live in the city or town that you're visiting, maybe visiting a new restaurant or going to an exhibition or an art gallery. Make a list of all the things that you really want to do on that trip. That way it allows you to maximize the efficiency of your trip even whilst being a minimalist. Now, one additional sugar mama hack I'm gonna share with you is I will actually even put this in my diary. Now, by putting in my diary when I'm on a work trip or even on a family holiday, means I prioritize it and I make sure I get it done. It makes me accountable. I highly recommend doing it. 
Now, another important part of research is researching what already exists waiting for you when you arrive at your destination. So many hotels, motels, backpackers, B&Bs are really quite sophisticated and really savvy and they really do cater for the experienced traveler. So quite often you will find that a lot of these places already have a lot of the things that you're already putting in your suitcase. I've turned up to so many hotels now where they have plenty of chargers, they have iPads, they've got gyms, they've got laundries, they've got pretty much anything and everything that you could possibly imagine, even GHDs. All right, so now that we've invested valuable time in planning and preparing, minimizing that risk of poor performance, let's get busy packing. Now, there are a couple of really helpful rules that I always follow. Number one, always stick with a complimentary color palette. I will make sure that all the colors of the items I pack in my suitcase are harmoniously complementary. So no matter what top or what bottom I choose to put together, it will work. Also, I will always pick items in my wardrobe that allow me to dress up or dress down. Simply taking a pair of black pants and a simple black jumper and a jacket. I can put on some sneakers and look really casual or I can change those sneakers around, put on some stiletto heels and a nice handbag and I'm ready to go out for dinner looking a little bit more professional, but of course without taking up valuable space in your suitcase. Now a classic example of what I mean about choosing versatile pieces. This is a handbag which I absolutely love to travel with. It's not too big, it can fit my passports, my wallet, even a shawl, everything that I possibly need. But this is why I love this bag, because I can wear it in a variety of different ways. I can choose to wear it over my body as a crossbody, meaning two hands are free, because you guys know I love having two hands free. And of course I can wear it over my shoulder, which gives a slightly more sophisticated upmarket look. And again, I still have two hands free. But if I wanna go out, say for example, to dinner that night, I can also turn this very quickly and easily into a clutch, simply by pulling the chain all the way through. Securing with a ribbon inside. And there you go, a clutch to wear to dinner without having to pack three different handbags. Now that's gonna save you a lot of space. Also, when it comes to footwear, I will stick to only two pairs of shoes if possible. I will pick a comfortable pair of high heels that are really classic. Ideally, something like a closed pump is for perfect because you can wear it with dresses, you can wear it with pants, you can wear it with skirts. It's really versatile, it's really timeless, it's gonna look great in all the photographs that you take on your holiday. The second pair of shoes I will take is normally just a flat pair of comfortable but fashionable sneakers. Now by doing this, I can put them on with shorts or a skirt or jeans or any type of pants. And it's perfect for if you want to do some walking, do some touristy things, but ensuring that the whole time you look smart and are comfortable. Now when it comes to packing your makeup, even I have to say, I get so tempted to just pack it all because I'm like, oh great, I can experiment with all these different looks whilst I'm on holiday or whilst I'm staying at this hotel. No, the reality is we don't really necessarily need a whole entire makeup collection which is why I always have quickly available my capsule makeup collection this is where I have picked pieces that are classic versatile and can be worn in different ways to maximize my look now let me show you some of my space saving hacks Firstly, I take those free sample little bottles that we get and instead of throwing them away or putting them in a recycling bin, I keep them, zero waste here. Next space saving beauty item is a bronzer. If you use bronzer, I don't even need to tell you how versatile this is, but you can actually use it as an eyeshadow for contouring and of course for a bronzer. And if you're really clever, you can actually blend it with some lip gloss to create a lipstick. Third space saving beauty hack is retractable brushes. These are so good. I don't understand why more people don't use these. Next traveling hack is invest in these traveling perfume bottles. Simple roll on, nice and small, nice and light. There's nothing worse than when you're traveling and you go through the x-ray machine and you discover that you're over your liquid limit and that beautiful bottle of perfume, which is probably even new or full, and you have to hand it over and put it in the bin. All right, hack number four. Let's talk about quick, easy access. Now, when you're traveling through an airport, it's most likely going to be busy and you do not want to be the person that helps make queues so much more longer because people are generally quite frustrated in a hurry and tense in airports. So make sure when you're packing your, so make sure when you're packing your suitcase, you pack things thoughtfully. 
mindfully. For example, when you need to grab your laptop, your mobile phone, and your iPad to go through the x-ray machine, make sure that you make the most of those really helpful compartments where you can quickly and easily pull it out and put it back in without your whole entire suitcase collapsing and all your personal items, underwear, socks included, falling across the floor in front of everyone whilst you die of embarrassment. Think these through. You need to be able to quickly access them and quickly put them away. Now, there are a couple of things that I will always, always travel with. In fact, I won't even leave home without these. Number one is my traveling wireless Bose headphones. These are fantastic because it blocks out the humming sound of the airplane, why quite often you find you have to turn the movie up full blast because the noise just like drowns everything and everyone out. It also means you can't hear people snoring or talking around you. You completely zone out and be in your own private bubble. Next is I will always pack my iPad. You can download any movies or any books that you've been dying to read in peace, or even simply make sure that you have your music on this, for example, meditation music, because if you're on a long flight, it is the perfect opportunity to start to fill your emotional and spiritual cup. Now, my next traveling necessity is a blanket or a shawl. I will always travel with something like this. Number one, I can fold it up into a ball and it acts as a pillow if I need to get some sleep. I can, of course, throw it over and use it as a blanket because they really do like to cool down those airplanes with the air conditioning pumped up to the max. It also acts as a bit of a health buffer. If someone I'm sitting next to is coughing and sneezing, I can sort of shield myself from any dirty germs. And of course, if I'm feeling really disgusting and I just can't wait to have a shower, I can simply just cover up and no one needs to know what I'm doing or where I am. And then of course, when I'm on my holiday and I wanna try and look chic and elegant, I can simply wrap it up, wear it as a scarf, even add a brooch if I want to, and all of a sudden I'm looking a lot more chic and elegant. And then my final hack for learning to pack like a minimalist is unpack the wisdom that you've gained. When you get home and you're unpacking your suitcase and you're putting things in the washing machine and putting things back where they belong because you're a minimalist and it doesn't take long, make sure you stop and take the time to look at what you packed and you didn't actually use and why, so that you know next time not to bother packing that again. Also make sure you pay homage to the items that were really helpful and really handy because those are things that you definitely wanna make sure that you pack next time. And remember, each time you pack, each time you try and pare down your life, simplify it, minimize it, you're gonna get better, stronger, and you're also gonna become faster and wiser at packing and you're gonna be a better traveler with all the many benefits that come from packing like a minimalist. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go and check out the Carl Frederick suitcases. They have a whole range of amazing leather goods, which I absolutely love. I already have a few pieces already. In fact, I have my eye on a beautiful backpack, which I'm currently saving up for that I will definitely be getting monogrammed to match my carry-on suitcase. And if you check the link out in the video description box below, there's even a special code for you. Because remember, you want to invest in quality, not quantity, particularly when it comes to luggage, because you want your luggage to travel around the world and enjoy all the experiences and adventures with you. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and thank you, Carl Frederick. Ciao for now.